It's like building a house, right? Yeah. So yeah. It, a lot of people want to start building their house from the outside in. Well, you can't build a house that way. I mean, you'll, it's just going to fall down. It's going to collapse under its own weight. So with this inside out approach that, that I use and that I help my clients with, whether it's one on one or group coaching, it doesn't matter because you're building the house correctly from the inside out. I mean, and, you know, a lot of people, they, they want to start, you know, picking out the curtains on the third floor when they haven't even dug the foundation yet. You know, so that's what the inner game is all about. By the way, this also, you, I mean, you, we can all prove this to ourselves and we've all heard stories of people who've won the lottery. Right. Right. So they literally have, you know, millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. And then they're broke within, you know, three to five years. Mm -hmm. How can you possibly explain that? That's what I've been doing for the past 27 years is teaching people exactly why that happens. Because they never had anybody teach them how to master their inner game. You know, right. so that's the thing. You don't have to win the lottery to do this. Nothing wrong with winning the lottery. I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying that's what a lot of people are waiting for. But it doesn't matter. If you win the lottery and you haven't mastered your inner game, you're probably going to lose it anyway. So... Your relationship with money matters. I'm Michelle Perkins, and this is the Money & You podcast, where I will be breaking down your relationship with money, offering tough love money tips, and a money dating plan that will focus on lifting the barriers to success to help pave the way for better money practices and increased wealth. It's time to take control to live a limit-free life. It starts today. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Money and You Show. I'm Michelle Perkins, your host, and we have a fantastic episode today. Um, a great guest who has been with us before. I'm, I'm super honored that he's coming back, and he's coming back because he has a great new book. It's actually book number 25, so he's he's written a few. Um, I'm going to quickly introduce you to Dr. Noah St. John, and then we're going to jump into a fascinating conversation with him on many topics that you're going to love. Dr. Noah St. John is known worldwide as the father of affirmations and the creator of the 12-week breakthrough. Working with Hollywood celebrities, professional athletes, and eight-figure company CEOs, Noah is famous for helping people make more in just 12 weeks than they made in the last 12 months while winning their lives back. He's also the author of 25 books, including his new book, The Seven Figure Expert, Your Ultimate Guide to a Life of More Impact, Influence, and Financial Freedom. And you can get a free copy. We're going to tell you how to do that, but you can do that as a listener to the show. That'll be in the show notes as well. Welcome, Dr. Noah. Great to be back with you, Michelle. Yeah, I'm so happy that you're here and so happy to know about your new book, which I cannot wait to read. And um, yeah, we had a great conversation before. Obviously, the show is about your relationship with money. I'd say you're a pretty big expert on that topic in, in many ways. So yeah, let's mm -hmm. hear a little about the new book. Um, you know, what prompted it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know, I started my company, successclinic.com, in 1997, a long time ago, uh, in a 300 square foot basement apartment in Hadley, Massachusetts. Now, at that time, I had $800 to my name, so I had no money. Uh, I had no marketing experience, no sales, uh, no business acumen. Uh, the only funnels we had back then, I'm sure most people listening have heard of sales funnels. Well, the only funnels we had back then were funnel cake. So, you know, it was a very, very different world back then than the world we live in today. But I had this this vision. I had a, a dream, really. It was just a dream and a vision and a deep burning desire to help people, to make a difference, to, as Steve Jobs put it, to put a dent in the universe. Mm. And so even though I didn't have any of those things that I just talked about, I just had that that strong, deep desire, that vision, that mission. And so I said, well, I have this message that I want to get out to the world, but how the heck do I do that? <laughs> you know, and number one, and number two, how the heck do I make money doing that? So I didn't know how to answer any of those questions. <laughs> and so I ended up, you know, I put up a, a very makeshift website. I mean, you know, I taught myself HTML back then. <laughs> I, I just got a book on HTML and I learned how to create websites. Now, of course, people are to nowadays going, what's HTML? And it's like, never mind. You don't want to know, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> so <laughs> the point is that I, I taught myself how to do that, put up the ugliest website you ever saw. 
And then I just started making money. You know, I was making money and people were buying my book from literally not just around the country, but all around the world, even sometimes countries I never even heard of. Hmm. And I would ship my books to them and people would get great results. And, you know, I was like, wow, this is really pretty cool. But I realized that, you know, back then, all I really had was one book. You know, you mentioned that now I've published 25 books. But back then, I just had the one, my first one, which was called Permission to Succeed. And so I realized pretty quickly that if you want to make any money uh, selling books, you got to sell a heck of a lot of books, you know. And I realized, well, geez, this is really hard. <laughs> you know, for me, it's like really easy to write books, but to sell them is really hard. <laughs> and I was watching an interview with John Grisham. He said the exact same thing. Writing books is hard. Uh, writing books is easy. Selling them is hard. I'm like, well, man, if John Grisham <laughs> is saying this, then I guess it's it's pretty true, you know. Anyway, so I said, I've got to figure out ways to make money at something other than just writing books because you know a book is what 20 bucks mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know you got to sell a hell of a lot of 20 bucks to to make some good money you know right so i said i've got to figure this out anyway so i ended up spending a lot of money like an insane amount of money going to all those marketing gurus out there uh, you know that we've all heard of right. and we see them every day on social media and they're saying hey you know look at my yacht look at my helicopter <laughs> look at my jet aren't i awesome you know i'll uh, and i made all this money you know and i'll show you how to make money and i believe them <laughs> yeah and as we all do unfortunately yeah. <laughs> i came to find out that they can't teach their way out of a paper bag they're, they're great self-promoters they're great self-marketers but man they suck at teaching <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up spending a ton of money and just an insane amount of years, really, going to all these guys, paying them all this money, only to really find out there's no there there. Mm. So that's when I realized, listen, I, I've got to I've got to figure this out, number one, for myself. And then number two, I'd really like to teach other people because I started hearing, you know, as people were buying my books and then eventually, you know, getting coaching from me and, you know, whether it's one on one coaching or group coaching and they'd really get great results as a result of coaching with me. But then they would say, hey, Noah, you know, you helped me with my my mindset and my habits. And, you know, can you teach me how to make money online? And I'm like, well, yeah, I can do that. Um, so that's really where this new book, The Seven Figure Expert, came from, is really just my my pain, my frustration and my spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. you know, going to all those gurus who can't teach their way out of a paper bag. So really, I've. I've taken over 25 years of my hard-earned knowledge and and uh, experience and making every mistake in the book, and that's really what this this new book is all about. Oh, thank you. I love that, and I certainly appreciate the um, you know what you're doing because I know too you know about investing in a lot of things, and and some of them are helpful. A lot of them are sort of just an investment that you made. <laughs> you might have learned a couple of things, but didn't really change the game right. for you. Um, right. So, yeah, I think that's actually really generous of you to put all of this into a book and, and allow us to learn from what you've, what you've done. So, um, with that said, I do think, you know, what we should be doing probably if we're entrepreneurs in, in any capacity is reading a book like yours first and then <laughs> then figuring out what we need. So uh, thank you for that. I, I actually can't wait to uh, to read it myself. Well, so, thank you. And, and just to, uh, to point out what you're saying, Michelle, this is the book that I wish I had yeah. all those years ago, yeah. you know, that I wish someone would have made available to me the knowledge, as I mentioned, you know, spending a ton of money uh, to not get very much from those guys. And I, you know, I always say to my clients, uh, I say, you know, if I would have had this knowledge that now I'm giving to you, I'd be a gazillionaire by now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm doing well. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing <laughs> fine. But man, it would have been nice to have this without having to go through all that torture and pain and torment and agony that I had to go through. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, the way you started doing everything yourself and, and you know, you, you know, you know what's involved. You, you know what, what's going on at that point. So <laughs> your expectations, yeah. you know, are at a certain level and then it's surprising sometimes when the great salespeople out there don't actually deliver. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it surprises anyone anymore. I maybe think, not. I mean, yeah. every single you know person I'm talking to, uh, you know, when people do breakthrough calls with me, yeah, um, 
I, I actually have, have not talked to anyone over the last many years who hasn't had a similar experience to me, meaning, you know, spending all this money probably hasn't spent as much as I have, but <laughs> nevertheless, you know, spent a lot of their hard earned money going to these guys and finding out there's no there there, you know, there's just, there's just a bunch of air and it's like, ah, it's yeah. very frustrating. So a lot of people are, have a very similar experience. Well, and I think what you bring up is a really interesting point. I mean, you know, with all of these things, it's always a lesson. And I think it really highlights the different skill sets because sales is a very specific skill set. Right. And these people have that nailed down, a lot of people. And <laughs> right. But like you're saying, teaching is a different skill set and coaching is a different skill set. Yeah, and, um, it really is. Yeah, so the, you have to the, be watchful. The analogy, I'm sorry, Michelle, go ahead. Yeah. I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, no, I was one. just thinking, right. you know, you have to really... You get sucked in emotionally with that's the right. sales, but yes. then, yeah. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Well, they're, they're very seductive. That, yeah. That's the word that I use. They're very seductive. And I use that word on purpose because think about it. You know, they're using this, this imagery, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, look at my yacht. Hey, look at my jet. Hey, look at my helicopter. Look at my, you know, fancy sports car. And these are images, right? And, and, and they're very powerful and they're very seductive. Now, there's nothing wrong with those things. I mean, heck, we all want nice things, right? We want nice cars, nice houses. We haven't want to have a nice life. So I'm not putting it down. I'm not saying we shouldn't have those things or there's anything wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. The problem is that because those images, that imagery is so seductive, we automatically think, well, heck, if he did it for himself, look at all this money he's got or must right. have, because look at all that fancy stuff. Then we think, well, gee, if he's made all this money, then he should absolutely be able to teach me how to do it, right? Right. And that's exactly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that is so <laughs> wrong. That is an assumption that cost me a ton of money. And <laughs> what's worse than losing money, because, I mean, hey, nobody likes to lose money, right? Of course. But what's much, much worse is the lost time. Mm -hmm. See, those are years and years that I can't get back. Right. You know, and, and that's really what hurts. I mean, you can always get you can always make money back, right? Money comes and goes. I mean, that's how money works, right? Right. But yeah, you know, of course, you know, we don't want to lose any more than, than we need to. But nevertheless, it's the time that's lost. And so, you know, with my seven figure expert book, that is the other point is I'm trying to save people, not just save people a lot of money, you know, and heartache and pain and torture that I went through, <laughs> but most importantly, saving all those years and yeah. years and years that I cannot get back. And that's the thing that really hurts. Yeah, I agree. It's the, it's the time and the energy. You know, you put a certain amount of energy in, and you're oh, tired definitely. when it's over. And you, you want to, <laughs> you know, you need that energy as right. much as and you need And it sucks anything. your self-confidence. That's yeah. the other thing. People yeah. lose their self-confidence. They lose that belief in themselves. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example. I, uh, I had just uh, from one of many, many examples, but like I mentioned, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching. Uh, my group coaching program, one of them is called the 12-week breakthrough, which, as you mentioned in my introduction, that I'm known for helping people make more in just 12 weeks than in the previous 12 months while winning their lives back at the same time. Well, uh, one of my clients uh, named Tamisa, and you can see her story and many others on my website, but she came to me and she was a self-described seminar junkie. <laughs> That's what she called herself, a <laughs> seminar junkie, meaning she was going to all these seminars, right? And I'm sure we all know people like that, going to all these seminars, reading all these books, and all this stuff. And she was doing well. I mean, she was doing six figures in her business, so she was doing well, right. but she just couldn't break through that income ceiling, right? That's what I call it. Just you keep hitting your head on that income ceiling, mm -hmm. right? And she couldn't break through with even going to all these seminars and everything. Well, a friend referred her to me, recommended my coaching, and she was very skeptical. And she was like, oh, man, you know, I've, got, I've heard it all before. And I've gone yeah. to all these seminars. Everybody <laughs> says the same thing. But, you know, she just she studied me, you know, watched some of my videos and even, you know, read a couple of my books and said, wow, you know, this guy's different. I think what he's saying is different, you know, than those other guys. And anyway, she decided to join my 12-week breakthrough program and... In the first two weeks of coaching with me, she tripled her investment. Wow. She tripled in two weeks. We hadn't even gotten to the money part yet, <laughs> right? And so that's what makes this really powerful, or one of the things, is because you know I'm taking what those guys are doing and in many cases flipping it right on its head and, well, in many cases, filling in the gaps mm -hmm. so that people can really break through that income ceiling very, very quickly. And so is that the primary goal of the 12 week breakthrough is to sort of break through a, a point that you've reached that you're stuck at? Well, if you look at most entrepreneurs, right, most entrepreneurs today 
um, are hitting that income ceiling, you know, mm -hmm. that I was just talking about. They're just, right. they just keep hitting that ceiling. They're working really hard, right? And they're, I, I call it like, it's, it's analogous to being on a treadmill, right? Meaning if you've ever, you know, worked out yeah. on a treadmill, you're working really, really hard, right? And you're like, ha, 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 you know, <laughs> and I'm working hard here, man. You know, I get up every morning and working, working, working. But if you've ever been on a treadmill, you know, the, the scenery doesn't really change. Right. right? It's like, I'm kind of <laughs> staying in place here. But wait a minute, I'm working really hard, but I'm not getting anywhere. So that's what a lot of entrepreneurs feel like every day. And it's like, gosh, mm -hmm. no, you know, how come I'm working so hard and I'm not getting anywhere? And so, you know, like Tamisa and, and many, many others, again, if you, you know, go to my website, you, you just watch the stories. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I, I just want to point something out, if I may. And that is the, you know, we're talking about the gurus. And one of the things that I'm known for is talking about the difference between personality driven success and system driven success. Mm -hmm. Now, personality driven success is exactly what it sounds like, right? You have to have this certain personality. Right. And if you look at the gurus out there, that's what they have, right? They have this larger than life personality. And we all know right. who they are, right? And they're like, oh, you know, they're blah, 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 and, you know, they, 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 they just fill up a room, you know, they get a huge personality. Yeah. Well, my question is, well, that's great for you, buddy, but what if I don't have that personality? Right. And the truth is, I don't. And most people don't. Right. Right. So, guess what? You're out of luck. <laughs> right. And they're like, well, sure, they happen to have been born with or developed this, this larger than life personality. Great for you, buddy. How about the rest of us? Yeah. Right. So, what I have, and, you know, what I talk about in the seven figure expert and in all of my coaching is system driven success. This is what I wish someone would have given me and frankly what i paid them a lot of money to give me and they didn't so yeah. you know the point is uh, the difference between personality driven success and system driven success is exactly that if you don't happen to have that personality which i don't and most people don't then what the heck are we supposed to do well then we need a system we need a fill in the blank plug and play paint by numbers checklist a system and that is what makes the difference you know like for tamisa i just i handed her the checklist boom she took it and took off you know hmm. tripled in two weeks just like many, many others. So that's the difference between personality-driven success and system-driven success. Yeah, I love that. It's a great point. And systems are so crucial. And I think, you know, when we're in a job, there are usually systems set up for us that, right. that we just, you know, adopt. Um, when you're an entrepreneur, that's a very, very tricky part of, right. of being an entrepreneur. You think it's about the ideas. You think it's about, you know, and it is to some extent about the ideas, knowing your audience, all of those things. But without good systems, it's very hard to execute. I, for me that's personally, right. I'm an idea person. The ideas, the content, the, that's never been a problem. But what that's is right. a problem is completing on the goals I set. And so, and right. that is enormously system, you know, driven. Um, that's right. To be consistent anyway with it. And, you know, something you yep. brought up earlier, which I loved, which I think, um, is the key really whether it's money or business mm -hmm. breakthroughs is you mentioned mindset and habits that's right and it's everything i mean you can you can have a, a lot of great things and even a lot of talents but if your mm -hmm. your mindset is what will trip you up as as you have taught and written about and do you want to speak for just a minute about the affirmations in case somebody didn't see the earlier show what we talked about i thought that was such a great thing yes absolutely so um i discovered this and as you mentioned in my introduction i'm known as the father of affirmations now people might be saying well are, what are you saying are you saying affirmations and you're saying it wrong no uh we're i i discovered this and i developed and created this new word right called affirmations so everybody of course listening to this program knows what an affirmation is right an affirmation is what we've all been taught right a statement of something you want to be true like for example as a keynote speaker i'm a keynote presenter keynote speaker and i get to present at you know live and virtual events all around the country all around the world and one of the things i like to do with my audience members is i like to say all right we're going to say an affirmation just like they taught us and everybody say i am rich right that's a classic affirmation right. i am rich right <laughs> and everybody goes i am rich you know what happens next everyone starts laughing and i go what are you laughing at and they go well i'm not rich and i say <laughs> but you just said you were and they go yeah but i don't believe it see isn't that the whole isn't that the truth yeah. right we we say these part of things we want to believe it but Nine times out of ten, we just don't believe it, right? right? Now, the guru said, well, listen, if you don't believe your affirmation, just repeat it a thousand million billion kajillion times until you believe it someday. <laughs> but did you know a scientific study was done, and this is true, a scientific study was actually done on this very topic, and it found that for 75% of people, literally three out of four people who use the old affirmations method, end up more frustrated than before. 
So meaning that if you already believe something, then you then it works. If you don't believe it, you end up more frustrated. Mm. So basically, the old affirmation way is basically like saying to somebody, hey, if you want to lose weight, make sure you're already thin. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what are you doing here? Right. So I called a time out on this. I said, wait a minute, this isn't working. Right. So in 1997, I had this epiphany, this discovery when I discovered my affirmations method. And I realized that the human brain operates using questions, not statements. So rather than going around, make a statement like I am rich to which your brain goes. Yeah, right. Right. I, what I discovered and invented is this process called affirmations, where you say you ask empowering questions. Why am I so happy? Why am I so rich? Why am I always in the right place at the right time? Now, using the embedded presupposition factor of your brain, your brain automatically searches for answers to questions. And that using that very tool is how exactly how I invented and named my affirmations. I'm just going to hold mm, that up so people nice. know what I'm saying. So it's A F F O R M A T I O N S. Affirmations. And by the way, you can go to affirmations.com, A F F O R M A T I O N S, and learn about my affirmations advantage program so that you can actually literally change your subconscious thought patterns while you're not even paying attention. So that's one of the foundational power habits that I invented and systematized, going back to my point about systems, and that is one of the reasons why I've been able to help my clients add over $3 billion, that with a B, wow. $3 billion collectively since 1997, meaning we've helped people to add multiple six figures, seven figures, even eight figures. But not only that, to lose weight, to find love, to save marriages, uh, we've helped kids to get better grades and and graduate and just uh, and, and go to, you know, get scholarships to college when they have been left behind. Just everything that you can imagine my affirmations method uh, works for. So it's uh, it's an incredibly powerful methodology. Yeah, thank you. That's fantastic. So so there have been a lot of uh, programs, a lot of, uh, you know, creative content that you've put together. You've put in you've published a lot of it. Um mm -hmm. When you were working on this book, mm -hmm. uh, how, did you pull a lot of this together in this book? Or, you know, do people need to read earlier ones before they read this <laughs> one? How does it work? Well, no, this, uh, I mean, you know, the Seven Figure Expert book, which you, and you showed the cover of that. I'll just hold that up so you know what it is. Anyway, so Seven Figure Expert book. Uh, no, you don't have to read, uh, have read any of my other previous works. Uh, it is a standalone, but all of my books are standalone. Yeah. Um, but what I realized is that, well, um, as I mentioned a moment ago, you know, my clients collectively, whether whether it's one on one or group clients have have added over three billion dollars, you know, in revenues uh, using my by following my, you know, my coaching methods over the last 27 plus years. Now, what that looks like is very simple. Um, and I'm going to just uh, I'm going to paint a picture for you here. I'm uh, I'm also known as the Sheldon Cooper of self-help. Right. I'm kind of <laughs> like the nerdiest nerd in this industry. Um, and as a nerd. One of the things that I use in my books all the time and in my teachings is our, our Venn diagrams, right? We all, we all, I love Venn diagrams. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know about you, but I just love Venn diagrams. You know, we have circles and they, and they tell a story because right. they, it really does. So I use Venn diagrams in all of my books, all my trainings. So when you look at what makes this so powerful and, and frankly, so simple is, is a very simple de Venn diagram of two adjoining circles. All right. So the circle over here is called inner game and the circle over here is called outer game. So if you picture that over here, you have the inner game. Now, inner game is everything that happens between your ears that you can't see directly, but it's affecting everything that you do, you know, and, and that's your beliefs, your desires, your priorities, your decisions. You can't see those things directly, but you see the effects of them in everything that you do. Mm -hmm. For example, as a keynote speaker, I'll often say to my audience members, what's one area of your life where your beliefs don't affect you? And here's what people do. They'll go, uh, um, and I'll say, exactly. There's no place your beliefs don't affect you, right? Your beliefs affect your health, your wealth, your business, your finances, your relationships, right? Your, uh, your well-being, your peace of mind, your stress level. I mean, there's literally no part of your life where your beliefs or your inner game doesn't affect you. But here's the funny, interesting thing is you can't see a belief. You can only see the effects of a belief. Right. That's how powerful inner game is. And then you also have your outer game. So you also have your outer game, which is the things you can see directly. Right. So as a business owner, for example, you know, that would be your offers, your funnels, your traffic, all of the, the nuts and bolts blocking and tackling 
that we entrepreneurs have to do every day. But what's interesting is that most people have spent a lot of time, money, and effort on their outer game, but they just haven't been taught correctly how to master their inner game. I'll give you a quick example of this. I was speaking at an, uh, at an event in Los Angeles for about a thousand business owners. These are highly successful entrepreneurs, six, seven, and even eight figure earners, right? So very successful people. I was, you know, teaching what I do, you know, my seven figure expert program and inner game and outer game and everything. Anyway, so I had just finished speaking. I was walking off the stage and a man came out of the audience and he he basically grabbed me, like almost grabbed me by the lapels and said, Noah, you are the coach that I've been looking for. I want to hire you as my coach. Now, I didn't know this man from Adam. Ironically, his name was Adam. <laughs> True story. <laughs> and so I said, OK, what's going on? And he said, well, Noah, you know, uh, I own this company. I'm the CEO and, you know, we're doing well. We're at seven figures, but we keep hitting that income ceiling that you just talked about. Hmm. And he said, that we have been stuck at the same level for the past four years. And he said, I have spent so much money. I've paid all these gurus, all this money. And, you know, yes, we're doing well, but I can't break through that income ceiling. And he said, as soon as I heard you speak about inner game and outer game and affirmations and everything you just talked about, he said, I knew that you were the coach that I've been looking for. So he literally decided to hire me on the spot. That's why I love working with high achievers, right? Because yeah. they, they make decisions quickly and firmly. They don't dilly dally, don't mess around. They said, let's go for it. So anyway, he decided to hire me. I coached him for 18 months. And in that 18 months, we got his company that had been stuck for at the same level for the previous four years to over 20 million in revenues in less than 18 months, a 600% increase in less than 18 months. How did I do it? It was all inner game. See, no one had taken the time to show him a system to actually master his inner game. And that was the difference for him. And of course, for so many other of my clients as well. Thank you. That is a great um, success story. And I I want to just help people understand this inner game thing. Just like when we talk about mindset, I feel, um, I, I feel more and more like it's a term that's out there a lot, and yet people don't really unpack it for themselves. It's like, yeah, I know it has something to do with my thinking. So when when you talk about, you know, shifting a successful person's inner game you know, what was going on in his head that needed shifting, if you can share some of that? Oh, absolutely. So, um, and this is one of the things that I start with all of my clients on, which is looking at where you are to where you want to be, right? I mean, a classic goal setting, right? We've all heard this a million times. But what's fascinating is nobody talks about what happens next, yeah. right? So, right. so like uh, in this example, I, you know, asked him where he wanted to be, and I, I looked at where he was and I said, all right, well, let's look at the obstacles between where you are and where you want to be. And if we remove those obstacles, doesn't it just make sense that you're going to get to where you want to go? And so one of those one of the big obstacles that I talk about, and I do talk about this in the seven figure expert book, is what I call your head trash mm. right now. Your head trash is the voice in your head that says, I can't do it because. So when you set your goals, what's the very next thing that you hear? For most people, the very next thing that they hear is, eh, I probably can't do it. You know, so I get people every day, they say, no, you know, I, I want to make more money. I want to grow my business. I want to, you know, write books like you do. I want to have an online course. I want to scale up my company. Eh, but I don't think I could do it. You know, I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I can't afford it. Uh, you know, I'm really busy. Um, I got my family, you know, my spouse. I don't think she'll let me do it. You know, and there's always a reason why, right? Right. And what's fascinating is, Whatever that reason is, is the reason that you're giving yourself and that you will defend to the death. Now, let me give you another quick example. I was talking with another one of my clients named Charles, and I asked him the question I ask all my clients. And I said, Charles, how much do you think it's going to cost you if we don't take out your head trash? In other words, if we don't fix this problem. And by the way, this is the problem that's causing all your other problems, yeah. right? Your head trash for, for everyone. This is the problem. Once you fix this one problem, it's like a domino effect. Everything else goes away. Right. So I said, I asked him, I said, how much do you think it's going to cost you? Without batting an eye, he said a million dollars. Noah, this is easily costing me a million dollars if if I don't get rid of my head trash. You know, Now, he'd been reading my book. So he was, again, he was studying me. He was familiar with my work. He understood what makes me different. And so I said, Charles, you know, first of all, I hear that every day. Every single day I talk <laughs> to people who say, Noah, you know, if I don't fix this problem, if I don't get rid of my head trash, it's easily going to cost me a half a million, a million, $2 million or more every year. And by the way, that's year over year, right? This right. compounds. It's not just a one-time thing. So I said, that's number one. Number two. So the point is you're not alone, right? It's very common. Number one. Number two, I tell you what I said, 
just give me 10% of that million dollars and I will find you a million dollars in the next 12 months. In other words, if you give me $1 and I give you $10 back, is that a good deal? He goes, yeah, that's a good deal. So he decided to do that. He decided on the spot to hire me and he paid me. He invested 100K, right? $100,000. That's 10% of a million, right? Right. So I coached him one-on-one for a year. That's another reason I love working with high achievers, right? Decisions quickly and firmly. So he decided to do that. Coached him one-on-one for a year. Now, as it turns out, I didn't find him a million dollars in the next 12 months. Instead, I found him $1.8 million in just 10 months. Wow. So he gave me a dollar. I gave him $18 back. Is that a good deal? No, that's a great deal. (laughs) And he actually sent me an email and he said, guess where I am, Noah? I'm on a seven-week vacation with my wife. We just bought a new RV with all this money we've got now. He said, this is a dream I've had for years, but I've never had the money and I haven't had the time. Right. So now I'm making more money than ever before. But even better, I have more time than I've ever had before. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking seven weeks off. My wife and I were driving around the country in our new RV. And he said, thank you. You changed my life. So that's another example of how this how powerful this is. Yeah. Well, you don't have to convince me. I'm a big believer. (laughs) Um, But I find it interesting because and maybe it's just human nature to go to the external things because i think when people are stuck it's immediately maybe my product or service isn't the right one or maybe my market well oftentimes um, right my marketing isn't working i got to find a different Mm -hmm. way of marketing i've got to you know i've got to do all of these things that are external and that's where like you were talking about you go through a lot of money and time and really i i think it's great that you're impressing on people start with what's going on internally before you go out into the right. and you'll have to keep doing it. I mean, you know, I had somebody once ask me, you know, well, when when will I fix my money mindset? And I'm like, well, you know, I, I can't give you a date. It's something you're going to be working on for really the rest of your life. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> ingrained. So um, becomes right. a little more habitual to think differently. But, right. you know, I mean, have you found people fall back into their old patterns and you, you kind of have to just have the conscious awareness of it uh, to pull yourself well, back what, where you need to be? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, and that's what my power habit system is all about. That's my inner game system is called the power habit system. The full name is the power habits of unconsciously successful people. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but it's actually very simple. I can unpack that for you. So whenever we humans want to master a new habit, we always go through four stages uh, of, of mastery. And that is unconscious incompetence, which is you don't know, you don't know. The second stage is conscious incompetence, which is, you know, you don't know. Third stage is conscious competence, is you do without thinking. And then the fourth and final stage is unconscious competence, which is you do without thinking. Right. Mm-hmm. And so that is the four stages we all go through, like driving a car. Right. We right. had to go through all those things. Well, what I realized many years ago, and this is another reason I help people make a lot of money and win their life back, is that highly successful people are doing things unconsciously that they don't even know they're doing, number one. But more importantly, number two, they can never teach you. And so it took the nerdiest nerd in the industry, that would be me, the Sheldon Cooper of self-help, to come along and say, all right, here's what these highly successful people are doing unconsciously that they don't know they're doing, number one, and number two, they can never teach us. So that's really the essence of my power habit system, and that's one of the big reasons why you see these these huge, really life-changing, dramatic Mm -hmm. uh, increases uh, and breakthroughs, really. That's why I'm also known as the breakthrough coach, because seeing that, you know, increasing by 600, 800, 1500 percent in less than a year, uh, nobody else in the industry gets those kind of numbers. Right, right. Amazing. And, you know, the the concepts are so fascinating to me because I I feel like, you know, and it isn't anybody's fault because the world does teach you learn more practical things, learn more skills, learn more, you know, when it comes to money, it's like, you know, read these books so that you'll understand personal finance. But then you don't know what to do with it. Or like you were saying, you just you feel like, you know, it's too hard. There are too many obstacles in the way. You don't have time, whatever it is. I don't come from that world where I can become wealthy like this book is telling me how to do. I mean, there's so many messages in your head all the time, which I guess is the head trash talking to you. but okay. it, uh, you know, it really all stems from all your decisions really are made from this emotional place. And so, 
addressing that first is all the information that you get out there, business owners, there's tons and tons of how to run a successful business. <laughs> so why isn't everyone successful? Why isn't everyone doing right. everything right uh, and That's winning? Right. You know, it's just, it's to me, it's just become more of a fascination than, you know, I mean, I, I get that it can be very frustrating and all that, but I, I, I I just find it really interesting. Same with money. I, I feel like money is such a people are so uh, in a state of fear when they think about money yes. or or anxiety right. or frustration. And yet, if you can just step back and get really curious about what have I done, what am I doing, how, what are my habits, what are my behaviors, what are my beliefs, that just weighs in so much more powerfully than. Mm-hmm the, you know, the extra knowledge about where you might invest your money. So, (laughs) well, they're both important. It's like building a house, right? So it, a lot of people want to start building their house from the outside in. Well, you can't build a house that way. I mean, (laughs) it's just going to fall down. It's going to collapse under its own weight. So with this inside out approach that, that I use and that I help my clients with, whether it's one-on-one or group coaching, it doesn't matter because you're building the house correctly from the inside out. I mean, and, you know, a lot of people, they, they want to start, you know, picking out the curtains on the third floor when they haven't even dug the foundation yet. You know, so that's what the inner game is all about. By the way, this also, you, I mean, you, we can all prove this to ourselves. And we've all heard stories of people who've won the lottery. Right. Right. So they literally have, you know, millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. And then they're broke within, you know, three to five years. Mm -hmm. How can you possibly explain that? That's what I've been doing for the past 27 years is teaching people exactly why that happens. Because they never had anybody teach them how to master their inner game. You know, so that's the thing. You don't have to win the lottery to do this. Nothing wrong with winning the lottery. I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying that's what a lot of people are waiting for. But it doesn't matter. If you win the lottery and you haven't mastered your inner game, you're probably going to lose it anyway. So why not go from the inside out first? Then you've got that solid foundation. Then you can build whatever house you want and have a great life. Yeah, I love what you're saying. And, you know, who doesn't love the lottery? But I think the people who really are think that the only way they'll ever have money is to have a big windfall of some kind. <laughs> um it, there is a there's a lot going on in their heads about what's possible for them because they right. think that's the only way out potentially and if you if you do have a you know a strong mindset and everything else then i think you you start to develop that confidence you were talking about that you can create and you can make money in that way that's right so. well that's what i've been teaching people to do for a, <laughs> a long long time <laughs> yeah oh i i love this conversation i just think it's so interesting and i and i do think it's so important for people like you to be out there explaining this to people uh it is for whatever reason still an unknown i mean you know when you're in this world you feel like oh everybody knows this but but it it's not and even if you know it it's a little bit the harder road you know i think Wallace right. Waddles and the Science of Getting Rich said something about, you know, this being the hardest thing you can do is to shift your beliefs, actually. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. sometimes we, you know, avoid the, the most difficult things. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, okay. Well, um, so how can people find your book and also find your programs and some of the other things that you're talking about that you offer? Absolutely. Yes. So uh, to get the book for free, here it is. I'll just hold up again. So it's very easy. Sevenfigureexpertbook.com. There you go. Easy to remember. Sevenfigureexpertbook.com. The book is free. I've covered the cost of the book. And then um, you just uh, cover the shipping. That's all. We just ask you to cover shipping. We ship anywhere on planet Earth. And that's at sevenfigureexpertbook.com. And if you want to uh, talk with me or one of my coaches, just go to breakthroughwithnoah.com. Easy to remember. I'm known as the Breakthrough Coach, right? So breakthroughwithnoah.com. You can watch a video that I did there, a video training, and then just book your breakthrough call. Um, And uh, one of my coaches or myself will get on a Zoom with you, and we'll just literally walk you through this exactly how you can implement this for your business, for your situation, and uh, you know, see how we can help you. And we have done for you services, so we can actually put this together, just do it for you. Mm-hmm. We have done with you offers, uh, you know, which is coaching with me. You get one-on-one or group coaching. And then we also have do it yourself. Like I have online courses like Power Habits Academy, Seven Figure Machine. So, uh, you know, we really, uh, we do it all and, and we're here to help everybody who really wants to take action and wants to implement and is ready to get that breakthrough in their lives. Breakthroughwithnoah.com. 
Yeah, thank you. I love that. And I love the fact that it's a fairly short time period. I mean, people don't have to invest too much of their time to get what you're offering. Uh, And I like the fact that you have all these. I, I, I love that because there are people who... Um, you know, everybody needs something different. So some people really right. do love the sort of self-directed training. Yeah. Other people really love having somebody else do the whole darn thing for them. And <laughs> so, right. you know, and others are in the middle. So that's, that's fantastic right. that you offer yeah. something that fits everybody. I just have to ask this last question. As somebody who's written as many books as you have, you know, and we've got listeners out there, including, mm-hmm. well, I'm not a listener, but uh, <laughs> I'm a talker, but <laughs> I have books, too, that need to get written. And what right. is your secret to being so prolific with the book writing? Well, I two things. Number one, I always wanted to be a writer. You know, a lot of kids dream about being a football player, baseball <laughs> player, or whatever. I, I always wanted to be a writer. I wanted to be an author. One of my very first memories is in kindergarten, we used to have these blocks of letters. And I would just put the blocks of letters together and just spell out big words, even though they didn't mean anything. I was like, (laughs) I just love words. That was just me. You know, I always want to do that. So this really is my dream as being a published author and having all these books out. So that's the first thing. So it's just what I always wanted to do. Um, But I also developed a, a very simple system for creating books, for writing books, and then, of course, for marketing and selling books, right? Mm. We talked about that earlier, that right. you know, writing books is kind of easy, <laughs> marketing and selling books is kind of hard. So um, <laughs> I, I created a system for both of those. So we do have a book done for you service, uh, as I, you know, I was talking about done for you a moment ago. Uh, but yeah, we have a book done for you service, because a lot of people ask me that, you know, what you were just mentioning, Michelle. In fact, just uh, as an example, one of my uh, book done for you clients is a stem cell doctor from Nashville. And he told me when we were talking, he said, no, you know, I've had this idea for a book for 10 years, but I still haven't even started it. I don't, you know, I, I don't know where to start. I haven't done anything. And so he decided to hire me uh, for with the book done for you service. We got it done for him in eight weeks. Wow. So think about that from 10 years to eight weeks. Wow. And that's when you have a system. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great message about systems and yeah, a lot of great stuff here. So thank you so much. That is very interesting. And I'm glad you have that program since you clearly know how to do that. And and again, was it systems in, in large part that helped you to, I mean, obviously had a, a desire and a love of writing, but was it the systems that helped? Because a lot of people write and not that many people write 25 books. <laughs> Yeah, it really was. It was, uh, and again, it was hard one, uh, hard one, you know, experience. Uh, yeah. I've, I've made every mistake in the book, but you know, I've also, um, you know, I've gotten everything from six figure book deals from the New York, you know, big New York publishers all the way to hybrid publishing and self publishing. And as it turns out, now I am the only author in history who's had works published by Hay House, Harper Collins, Simon and Schuster, Mind Valley, Nightingale Conan, and The Chicken Soup for the Soul Publisher. Wow. No one else in history has ever done that. I'm the only, the only one. I'm the only author who can make that claim. And so, you know, I've I've seen it all. I've done it all. I made every mistake in the book. So my job is to help people to not make those mistakes and really uh, help them get those results uh, 10 times faster and and frankly, a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> wow. Super amazing. That's, that's, congratulations. Mm-hmm. That's really impressive. So, um, okay. Well, Dr. Noah, thank you so much for gracing the podcast with your knowledge and wisdom and presence. And uh, love, I was thrilled to, to have you back on and can't wait to uh, share the book information with people. And thank you for everything you do. It's a huge service to, to people in the world. It's my pleasure. Great. Well, thank you, audience, for listening to The Money and You Show. We love having you here listening to our shows. And if you share the show and rate and review the show, that helps us get it out there and continue to have wonderful guests like Dr. Noah St. John on the show and to help you improve your relationship with money and your financial education to help you live a more financially free and happy life and do the work that you love. So please go ahead and uh, keep watching, share the show, and we'll see you next week.